Patients who are chronically ill, disabled or elderly need to exercise regularly in order to keep healthy and as part of their rehabilitation therapy. However, healthcare services are often overwhelmed and unable to provide the monitoring and supervision required by those patients. In order to provide the necessary assistance, the European IMD project Fit Rehab is developing a platform to perform physical exercise under the planning and the remote monitoring of an expert. The Fit Rehab project has developed such a platform and is field testing it into reference centers inside the European community. The consortium put together complementary expertise. It is uh, uh, coordinated by the University of Milano, who has uh, developed uh, several applications of virtual reality to rehabilitation. And in this project, the uh, University of Milano has developed uh, the virtual reality engine of the platform. Barcelona Digital Technology Center has developed uh, the hospital station of the platform. CETEMS has brought in their expertise and have uh, built a smart shirt with embedded motion tracking sensors. Upper Austria has brought in their experience in evaluating and testing on the field new technology for the health. Then we have two hospitals that are pilot testing the platform, which are the Weber Foundation in Os Brabant and Viandi Hospital in Estonia. We have also an evaluation from the policy makers. We have a health provider of the Brescia province, which is a quite large province in Italy, who will evaluate how to use and deploy this platform inside the field. And Abacus, which is a small company who is interested to exploit the, the results of the project. The platform consists of two integrated workstations, which will communicate with each other via the internet. The first will be used in hospitals by medical staff to schedule personalized exercises for each patient, while the second station will be used by the patient at home to perform the exercises with a virtual trainer. Fit Rehab Hospital Station will be used by the therapists to schedule programs of exercises customized for each patient. This way, the therapist will schedule a program of exercises and then the program will be sent to the patient station where the patient will be able to do the exercises programmed by the therapist at his or her home. In addition to motion sensors, the patient's shirt incorporates a built-in heart rate sensor. If the detected heart rate exceeds the danger threshold, the application automatically stops and asks the patient to rest. During the execution of the exercises by the patient, the patient station gathers a lot of information regarding the performance of the patient. Then this information is sent back to the hospital station developed by Barcelona Digital Technology Center so that the therapist can reveal the results and analyze them to customize again the therapy so that we can provide a closed loop rehabilitation therapy. The implementation of the project has already been tested at the De Viva Rehabilitation Centre in the Dutch city of Tilburg, where the project team of researchers and clinicians has been working with prototypes of the project in order to propose future improvements. We are testing now uh, the for fit project, project Fit Rehab uh, VR. Uh, area, there's a virtual reality area, a sensorized shirt and a hospital platform and a patient platform. The patient is able to practice from his home or from the gym here at the, at the Wever uh, to make the movements with an avatar. They see it on a screen and they can make the movements at home. So they can practice at home and the doctors but also the therapists can watch the movements with the hospital draft. It's just like a video game and it makes it a lot of fun to train with it. I think the Fitra Hub project is uh, really good for Viljandin because uh, the patients uh, with stroke, they usually stay in the hospital for 10 to 24 days. So it's really useful that they can practice at home. So I think uh, this could be really, really useful for Viljandin. Fit Rehab will enable patient rehabilitation by using virtual reality. 
and remote monitoring by medical staff, improving the quality of life of the patient and reducing relapses. As an additional benefit, health services will be able to assess more people without increasing costs.